This is probably the rarest Hulga product I own. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com and welcome to Holga Week. Holga Week is a celebration of all things Holga. It's the first week of October and it's also a contest. During this week, holgaweek.com encourages you to create images with Holga cameras, submit them for the contest, and then a couple lucky winners will win some pretty cool Holga related products. Here at photodeox.com, we celebrate Holga Week by taking a look at Holga cameras and accessories. And today we're taking a look at this little Holga lens. Like I said in the intro, this is probably the rarest Holga product I own. This is a Holga HLW PLG 25 millimeter F8 micro four thirds Holga lens. It actually says on the lens that it's specifically for Panasonic Lumix cameras, but it works on all micro four thirds mount cameras. And the reason I say this lens is so rare is I have not been able to find one of these for sale online in a very long time. I think I bought this back in 2014 and back then these lenses were super prevalent, uh, but now I can't hardly find anything. I found one listing, but it wasn't even for the micro four thirds mount version of this lens. It was for the Samsung NX mount version. So I'm guessing that there wasn't much demand for this lens and they didn't make many and uh, they're probably not making any more. So that's why I consider it probably the rarest Holga product I own. And it's a real shame they don't make more of them because this is actually a wonderful little lens. It's a 25 millimeter lens specifically designed for micro four thirds 2X crop sensors. So on a 2X micro four thirds sensor, this is a 50 millimeter full frame equivalent. Very similar to the 60 millimeter Holga lenses that you can still find pretty easily for Nikon and Canon EOS mount cameras. Now it claims that it's an F8 lens, but you'll see on the back here, there's actually this vignette filter. This is added to give the lens more of a Holga look with those dark edges, that vignette. And as you can see, it's a hole in the middle and then all these little holes around the edges. And I'm not sure exactly how this works, but I believe that the extra holes create a vignette that's a little softer. So even though it claims it's an F8, this lens really only works in bright sunlight. If you're shooting inside, you're gonna need a lot of light or you're gonna have to shoot at a really high ISO. Let's mount the lens on my Micro Four Thirds Olympus OMD camera. Really easy to mount. Uh, it is a fully plastic lens. I believe the optic is plastic as well. So it's super lightweight, very compact, nice for compact shooting. And the way you focus is you actually turn this ring here and you'll see it doesn't actually give you exact uh, focus amounts. You get one person, you get two people, you get a large group of people, and then you get mountain. So this isn't great for zone focusing. You're gonna wanna eyeball it in the camera. Here's some photos I captured with this camera and this lens. And like I said, you do get a lot of vignetting. Here's a shot pointing directly at the blue sky. Yeah, that's a lot of vignetting. Now there is a way to mod this lens to make it a true F8. You basically just remove the vignette filter at the back, but I kind of like this look. Uh, I have modded Canon EF mount Holga lenses for a true F8, but it's not gonna give you the exact same Holga feel. So with this lens, I think I'm going to leave the vignette filter in. Now, if you get sick of shooting with a 50 millimeter full frame equivalent, you can use the Holga 135 fisheye lens. This is a fisheye attachment that you just slide over the Holga lens and this makes the 50 millimeter equivalent into more like an 18 millimeter equivalent. Now it is a fisheye lens, so you do get distortion around the edges and uh, you don't get as much focus. It's really just focused in the middle and really soft around the edges. So if you're gonna use this fisheye attachment, you just have to be prepared for a more dreamy, surreal look. Now this lens is pretty fun for lo-fi photography, but I love it even more for filmmaking. A couple years ago, I made a short film and I really wanted a lo-fi 16 millimeter film feel. And uh, I was using the original Blackmagic pocket camera and I used this 25 millimeter Holga lens on it. Now the sensor in the original Blackmagic is even smaller than Micro Four Thirds. It's a even greater crop. Uh, I'll put the info down here uh, what this lens would be as a full frame equivalent on this camera. So hand holding isn't great. You do get a lot of shake, especially since this camera does not have a stabilized sensor. So for a lot of the shots in my short film, I was using the fisheye adapter, even though that did add more softness to the image. But I love the look I was able to create with this lens. When I paired this lens with the quite frankly magical sensor tech in this pocket, uh, 
it created this really great filmic look. The sensor in the original pocket already has a filmic look. So when you pair it with a plastic lens, uh, with a vignette filter like this one, you do really get a lo-fi 16 millimeter look. Now people will be quick to point out that true 16 millimeter looks a lot better than this, and I totally agree. When I say 16 millimeter, I'm talking more like a cheap home movie 16 millimeter camera or super eight millimeter camera. I'm not creating the hi-fi aesthetic of really nice motion picture gear. Uh, with this lens and camera, I'm definitely creating a much more lo-fi look, something that looks like a home movie. I also added film grain to this footage to make it even more lo-fi filmic. And for reference, here is the same Holga lens on the new Blackmagic Pocket 4K camera. As you see, there is more vignetting because the sensor is a larger Micro Four Thirds sensor and the sensor in the Pocket 4K isn't as 16 millimeter aesthetic as I'd like, but you still do get a really nice vintage look. Okay, that was a quick look at the Micro Four Thirds mount 25 millimeter Holga lens. Now I tell you to go get this lens if you have a Micro Four Thirds camera and you want this great lo-fi look, but I'm not sure if you'll actually ever be able to find one. Like I said, I've been looking to get a backup for this lens for years online. And the only thing I've been able to find is old blog posts and uh, broken listings. So if you wanna find this lens, good luck, happy hunting. Uh, it's going to be a challenge, uh, but if you succeed, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear how you found one of these extremely rare Holga lenses. Today's video is brought to you by photodeox.com. Photodeox is a photo and video gear and accessory company. If you are a filmmaker or photographer looking for accessories for your camera equipment, we've got you covered at photodeox.com and click the link in the description to learn more. Okay, that'll do it for today's Holga Week video, but stay tuned. We've got more Holga Week content coming up. If you have any questions about the lens featured in today's video or anything else I talked about in today's video, comment below, I'd love to help you out. Also, click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and happy Holga-ing, if that's a word. I don't know if that's a word. Holga-ing. <laughs>